hi guys welcome to uh, trading in zones today uh, i thought of creating a set of uh, videos to look for uh, stocks to watch for tomorrow uh, this is one of the ways i keep myself prepared for the next day and have my watch list ready so from a market perspective market has pretty much moved down and you know there might be some bounce up and continuation of a move down on monday as well if the bearish trend continues or if it's going to hold uh, the 10480 10500 approximately those levels uh, then the market might start seeing some reversal if at all we see some fresh uh, buying coming in else uh, given the festive season uh, you know we might see more money being taken out uh, of the market at this point in time so having that view i have a set of stocks uh, here in front of me for us to look at uh, tomorrow so on the short side i'm seeing idea uh, idea significantly moved down so from a, a daily candle six level you can very clearly see it went and hit a rejection very close to around 46 and then you know uh, this was a big breakdown because it was ideally around 43 it should have held uh, it, if it was showing any kind of uh, support but now you know it's kind of sitting on a very thin line uh, at around 40 so if it holds around 40 then there is a good chance that uh, it might see some up move else uh, there is a very high probability that idea might fall right and you know we might end up seeing somewhere around 39 uh, if at all that happens so it might come to clo come very close to around 39 uh, tomorrow there is a very high probability if the downtrend continues because this seems to be a big sell off and it fell good 7% so there is a very high probability that this might fall uh, if it's going to break around 40, we might see uh, one more rupee movement down happening. So a good uh, stock to have on watch list uh, for tomorrow. Right. And also some of the other stocks which are looking pretty weak. Uh, one of them is uh, Power Finance Corporation. So again, Power Finance uh, Corporation, when you kind of uh, look at uh, the chart, uh, this is PFC. So when you look at the chart on a, a daily chart basis, uh, there was a big sell off right at around 107 and the last three days has kind of tried to move up and then a uh, move down. So this is kind of making a bear flag pattern, uh, but you know, right now it's holding around 98, uh, which seems to be the support uh, area for this particular stock. Uh, but given the kind of move uh, and you know, even the daily chart showing MACD divergence being weak and crossover just happening so this could be a very nice short candidate uh, once it starts breaking the levels okay so you can keep uh, pfc on your uh, radar as well and you know if it continues to fall like how it had fallen on the previous monday if the structure kind of continues there might be a, a significant down move which might happen on uh, uh, pfc and we can very clearly see you know probable next level of support is around 92 so a uh, level break uh, somewhere over here can you know drive the stock all the way till here right so we can see that at least this kind of a movement or a movement all the way till 93 is a possibility so 96 and 93 could be the next possible levels where uh, pfc might take a stop or if it's a significant down move we can see it all the way going till around 89.3 or, or around 90 rupees approximately Okay, so this might be the range where it might come and take support if it breaks the current levels of support which it's tested. Okay, but looking at its weakness, looking at the kind of volume uh, reducing down the previous week after a big sell off, this seems to be bearish. There is no strength uh, moving up. It could just be short covering which has happened and Friday it's fallen down again. So good chance that PFC might go down. So these are the two stocks uh, from the top of the list what I have from a shorting perspective and from a stocks uh, you know which are moving perspective you know I'll probably have uh, top four uh, reviewed one is capital first uh, CapF this was a stock uh, which I uh, recently traded this seems to be bullish the IDFC twins uh, these are also something which I traded and mother Sumi also I'm pretty bullish. Uh, given the range so we can quickly have a look at these four stocks for uh, tomorrow as well i'm hoping that you know these stocks will give us some amount of movement uh, on uh, monday okay which is tomorrow morning or rather today morning because it's almost uh, past 12 o'clock now so let's quickly look at capf on a daily chart in terms of how it is looking so if you see capf uh, capf on a daily chart we can very clearly see 
has a significant breakout which has happened at around uh, 498 or around 500 uh, which was also a level which I called out uh, for a long trade. So at this point in time I can see there is a significant amount of support at around 530 levels. So if it holds uh, 530 or till around uh, 5 you know 20 uh, levels as well there seems to be good support from around 530 to 520 if it is within that range uh, if it holds and if it starts moving up uh, it's definitely a buy right uh, but if it does not hold uh, that particular range and uh, you know if it uh, starts uh, going below 520 we might see a 500 again but given the kind of volumes which has uh, kicked in on cap f and given the significant breakout uh, it has made you know there is a very high probability that it might continue the uptrend the movement might not be significant like this but we might still see some amount of movement which might happen and you know uh, there is a good uh, swing possibility at least till around 600 or uh, even if it continues you know somewhere around 590 to uh, 624 seems to be a possibility right 580 590 till at least around 600 620 level seems to be a possibility on this particular swing so there is a very good possibility that uh, you know it might continue to uh, move up before it hits any of the upper level resistances okay so currently it's hit this rejection somewhere over here this zone this level here is acted as a clear rejection which we can see right so if it breaks then obviously the next level of uh, rejection is around 580 and if it continues the next level of rejection going above 600 so uh, if the volumes continue and if the price starts moving up uh, you know uh, this seems to be a stock which is having very high probability of a up move we can expect around 580 levels on this uh, coming very soon so you can keep this stock on radar as well and the other stock is IDFC Twins, IDFC Bank and IDFC both. So let's look at uh, one by one in terms of what's happening. So I'm looking at IDFC first. Uh, IDFC is again uh, something which you can very clearly see has a uh, breakout and it's kind of holding the level uh, right there on the closing basis while the breakout kind of got rejected. So if it holds uh, this level at around 39.9 and if it continues to start moving up and goes above uh, the last high, there is a very good probability that this might you know, continue to make a new high and move at least all the way till around 43, which is a very good probability. Would it happen tomorrow or would it take uh, more than a day or two? We need to wait and watch. But we do see a significant volume increase which is uh, kicked in and a significant price move. So there is a very high probability if the volume follow through happens then you know it might go and test the rejection at around 43 right and then the next one is idfc bank uh, idfc bank also moved a significant uh, level uh, right uh, from a price perspective and this is not comeback when compared to you know idfc which kind of came back to its uh, price action support level uh, idfc bank has not come back okay uh, 36 was a breakout uh, while it moved all the way till 39.75 it's holding right over there so currently the support is at around 38 approximately so if it holds uh, 38 then it will not test 37 so below 38 37 is a possibility but 38 37 if it continues to hold then you know we can see more uh, upside uh, coming on this particular stock uh, where we can probably you know expect it to go all the way till around 44 as well okay which could be a probability given that there is a increase in volume and if it continues and it is moving up very clear divergence bullish divergence created right over here uh, you can see the divergence in play right and after the divergence being created it is clearly moving up and also MACD crossover confirming the up move so a uh, very neat uh, movement so far on IDFC bank as well the other one or the last one for tomorrow is uh, obviously Mother Sumi. So this is something uh, which I am keeping on my uh, list, uh, right? So uh, I will quickly, I am just scanning volume greater. So you can look at the scan. There is no rocket science. I am just looking at two days ago and one days ago volume comparison. Whatever is greater, I am just scanning those uh, set of stocks. Uh, and the other one is Mother Sumi, obviously. Uh, to look at uh, how Mother Sumi is doing, let's go open the Mother Sumi chart. Mother Sumi. 
All right, so let's uh, zoom in slightly on Madhur Sumi. Again, a stock which is beaten down pretty badly, uh, creating multiple uh, divergences, right? So there was uh, one divergence which it created right over here, made an up move, but again, there was a significant fall. And again, it's created one more divergence over here when compared to this low and this swing low, uh, you know, and now it is slowly starting to move up and this seems to be like a breakout. Okay, so there was a very strong rejection for uh, this particular stock at around 153-154 levels. Now it's closed uh, pretty much above that level which is confirming uh, with a good uh, bull volume. So, you know, if this continues, at least I'm expecting it to for now, uh, you know, test somewhere around 158-159 and maybe all the way till around 160-163 over a period of time okay for that it needs to hold this uh, current uh, level of uh, support which is broken which is around 153 if it holds that around 153 152 level then there is a good chance that the stock might move up so these are the stocks uh, which you can continue to watch uh, for the coming week uh, which can give you a good amount of uh, movement given the uh, recent uh, volume uh, increase which we are seeing on these stocks uh, you know, there is a very good probability that these stocks might move. All right. Happy trading, guys. Have a wonderful Monday and I wish you all a green week ahead. Cheers. Bye. Take care.